With only days before the official start of winter, we began to worry that our new home, a geodesic dome, would not arrive before frigid temperatures set in. Regardless, Jess and I, along with our neighbors and off-grid community, continue to make progress on the platform build that will eventually hold our long-awaited dome home. But then, out of nowhere, our prayers were answered. When a three-month-long wait finally comes to an end, bringing on an excitement Jess can barely contain. It's here. It's, it's on the other, it's on the other, side, on the other side of the truck. Side of the truck. Join us this week for another episode of Off Grid and Growing. Hey everybody, I've been here over a month. <laughs> it's time to go home. Where it's a real bed, shower every night. Oh, he's gonna miss, he's gonna miss it here. <laughs> but I, I do like the outdoors. You know, I've been to the Amazon jungle, lived for six months, uh, with a lot less than here. Um, mainly, I just like being with my son. So. I love you, Dad. I love you too. Yeah. Say goodbye. I did say goodbye to Jessica, but. Yeah. We'll see you here in a few months when you visit again. I want you to call Try and convince mom to come this time. Alright. Drop in a comment letting her know to come. <laughs> oh, it's not as worse as it gets. Wait till the winter comes and the frost. <laughs> I will. My father has left, Jessica's at work, and they're both kind of lucky because they're getting to miss all the fun work today. I'm gonna have to re finish building up this berm and controlling the water. We've been getting a lot of rain in the past few weeks. It's almost been nonstop, and I'm seeing where water's sitting and how water's flowing, and I don't want it to wash away our, our foundation or the dirt around it. So I think it's pretty important that I finish this berm um, before I even start moving on. Just got home from work. Well, from my job <laughs> to come home to go to work. But we're gonna go down to the deck, see what Sean's got going on. Getting that berm built. Yeah, at least up around the post. 
It looks so much shorter with the post buried. It, it does. <laughs> but it, what you can see what I did was just build up the earth up to the very bo bottom of the post. That way any water that comes off this hill and starts running down this way won't wash away, won't wash away our foundation. Yeah. On the other side, we're in the highest point. It's a lot more earth. Like I built it up higher. This thing ain't going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> what I think we can do is put topsoil on top of these and plant some grass or some herbs or flowers, whatever. Yeah, something to put roots in there. Yeah. Hold it in tighter. I agree. What? Is your butt, oh, you got something to say? You got something to say? Say it. Say it. <laughs> oh, you don't. You don't got nothing to say no more. Nobody asks you. Nobody asks you. Okay. While he's finishing up that work, looks like he doesn't need me. He's found his flow. I'm gonna go up here, help Kim unload some groceries, and we're gonna get breakfast started. Brunch. <laughs> Is it two there? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Take this from you. Sheds a mess. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Mm. We ended up cutting up one of the serrano peppers to see how they tasted, mm. but they kind of taste like a, a green pepper mixed with a jalapeno. Mmm. Thank you very much, David, for this 200 watt panel you sent us. It, it's working great with the system that we have, and we're collecting twice as much solar energy from the sun as we were before. Um, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't worry, I promise we're going to build something to hold this up that's more sturdy than just sticks, but for right today, it'll work. There we go. Yep. No movement. That's what I'm looking for. Jess is going to be happy. <sighs> Coming with this storm, or just I have no idea. 
we're packing up for the night. We do have rain that's supposed to be coming in, but the worst thing that ever could have happened happened today. I forgot to pick up Jess at work. He did. <laughs> he left me there. I did not leave her there. I got into the zone with what we were building today and I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> but we are ready. We are we had to fix some minor problem that we had on this. It took a little bit longer to get to the skin, but we are all set up pretty much and it's just gonna kinda flow. I'm so ready to put the top on. You're ready to put the top I'm on. I'm so ready to see how it looks with the top on. <sighs> Well, the thing's sturdy now. There's no movement. And this has to go the whole way around? These boards? Just on both sides. Okay. Very good. So we're putting the what you can see here. The reason we put this blocking in is we're going to create a border that's going to surround it. How do we say that? A frame. A frame around the, the uh, boards in the center, which are going to go this way. You'll see. It'll look good. Yeah. I'm not It'll help right. keep the boards from... Checking. Yeah. Checking. Coming up eventually. Keep them in place. You did a good job today, minus forgetting me at work. <laughs> Just so picky. <laughs> I love you though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't. Maybe this rain will pass us over, but it's, it's like ninety-nine percent. Ninety-nine percent. Okay. Yes, hi. Um, I have a freight shipment that was picked up the other day and they didn't have a clear uh, estimated day of arrival and I was just calling to see if that had been updated so I can prepare for it. Okay, thank you very much. What's that? Yeah, the ETA, so I could have uh, something there to put it on a trailer. Tomorrow. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's great news. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye bye. What? It's super exciting, but it's like a sloppy mess out there. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, it's been raining non-stop since last night, and the deck's not even done yet. We're, we're on the final stretch, but wow, okay. That means we're going to have to make a few calls and see what we can do. It's because she's right, it's a sloppy mess. The mud out there it's is... so bad. Yeah, it's, it's thick and deep, so this is going to be challenging. But the it's dome's coming. <laughs> we overcome challenges. That's right, baby. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Okay. Well, we got some prep in the dough. I agree. Tomorrow. 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 <laughs> it's making me sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a propane heater. <laughs> no, is it? It's my nerves. <gasps> I'm a little Labrador. I'm not a big scary pit bull. <laughs> oh, yes, you are. You sweet baby. Hey, Nelly. Oh, get your bit of scratches. 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 All right. So the dome's supposed to be here in a few hours. We're down at Jessica's work, the animal rescue. Uh, since they've graciously allowed us to have it delivered here because our roads are impassable for especially a, a tractor trailer. Um, we have a few people that are going to be coming to give us a hand because the, the plan that we originally had to get this up to our property has kind of fallen through at the last minute. So now we're going to have to use a little bit of mountain ingenuity to get it up there. So, adapt and overcome, right? here <laughs> oh my god i'm so excited and nervous at the same time we're lucky we got a a local who's coming down with a tractor who's going to help us out with the unloading it and the loading it so luckily someone else was able to to get here <sighs> i'll have a few friends that are coming down to help us do this it's going to be a <sighs> it's here it's, it's on the other, it's on the oh, other side, on the side of the truck <laughs> Alright, 
it's here now we got to worry about getting it to the property safely Tractor's not strong enough to pick it up, so we're kind of having to try and lessen the weight a little bit and see if we can kind of scooch it on there. Here they go, it's 650! starts the journey home see if we can get there unscathed but and then that, get it off that went off so much easier than I thought it was going to it went off I thought this was gonna be a challenge yeah I'm so glad that it was yeah so grateful so grateful to that man for coming to help Me too. <laughs> all right I'm gonna go up the hill with them <laughs> it worked. Awesome. Staples. There's staples everywhere. Yeah, I already got a couple. We're going to go straight down with it. Straight down? Yeah, the bottom's falling out, so we got to go quick. All right, one, two, two, three. three. Down, down. Meow. Right meow. That's it. Back right there, that hurt. It's crazy that everything's crammed into those two boxes to build this size of a dome. Yeah. I know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Got it here unscathed. Oh, so sorry, this has got the tent also. Yeah, by the door is wrapped Eight in. millimeter thick dome tent. Yeah, the door is probably wrapped in the fabric. Awesome. Hey. hey, Sean, it's here. It's here. Thank you so much, everybody, for your help. Holes for your new man. Yes, sir. Next to come, a new home. The temperatures are, are starting to drop, so I'm pretty thankful that we managed to get the, the crates up to the property. I mean, next we still got to finish the deck, but that's only one step We're on left. On the finish line. Right, one mm -hmm. step left, and then we can unpack this thing and start putting it up. We actually have a lot of people who want to help us do it. Yeah, I think it's going to be a good time. Yeah. <laughs> people are really interested in what this is going to look like uh, for us, so we'll see. Yeah, I'm excited to see. Yeah. And I'm excited to share it with yeah, everyone. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> But we are very thankful for everybody who's made this a possibility from not only acquiring this to the people who helped get it up here and the people who've been helping us with all the steps along the way to get us to this point. Um, we're very thankful for that. 
and we're just going to keep going. Yes, extremely <laughs> thankful and extremely grateful. Yes. So thank you all who made this a possibility. Appreciate you so much. Now the now the real challenge comes to see if we can actually get this done before we freeze in our shed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous to see what five degrees feels like. Yeah, but we got a lot of nice warm clothes and blankets and a propane heater so i think we will survive even though it might not be that comfortable, comfortable but yeah, <laughs> we're going to be, be our, we're going to be all right and that just gives us more motivation to get this whole project finally done yeah so. i agree all right everyone well we will see you next time and hopefully next time we'll be from the inside of our new home i hope so i hope so <laughs> <laughs> pray for us everyone <laughs> all right keep growing guys keep going yeah.